Hi guys, Ray from Whimsical Pictures here, starting off the new year with what else but a collection tour. This is the first time that I am showing off my Japanese collection. That is all the books that I have amassed here with me in Japan. As you can see, it's quite a bit. Uh, but this is about 300 volumes in total. Uh, I'm very sorry for the traffic noise. Uh, I live on a main street, so there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. But this is about 300 volumes, which makes it about half of the manga that I own. The other half is currently in storage in America. And yeah, uh, language distribution is about half English manga and half Japanese manga. I've definitely been keeping up with quite a few series still in English, even though I am in Japan. So hopefully there's something to enjoy for everyone. I am going to start with just these little knickknacks that I have hanging on the wall. So here we just have a couple of little bags that I have picked up from a couple random places. Uh, they're cute. We got Sailor Moon. We got Astro Boy. Over here, uh, this piece I'm quite proud of. This is a portrait of me with mushrooms growing out of my head by Shintaro Kago, the very well-known Erogudo artist. Uh, he really doesn't charge much at all for these portraits for how well-known he is, so if you are an Erogudo fan or a Kago fan, I definitely recommend looking into it. And here we have a vintage pencil board of Gilbert and Serge from Kaze to Kino Uta, which is one of my favorite series. And just like a cute pretty little piece from a local artist in my parents' town. And over here we have uh, the Yona of the Dawn calendar that was just packaged with the collector's edition of volume 34 that I picked up just because I wanted the calendar. <laughs> so yeah, now let's head down to the bookshelves. This video is just going to be a quick overview of what I have. Just basically me saying the title and moving on. Uh, if you want to hear my more in-depth impressions of each series and why I have them, uh, I will be releasing gradually after the release of this video uh, more in-depth videos going two shelves at a time into individual titles. Uh, but yeah, so we have volumes one to five of Astro Lost in Space. That is complete. The Case Study of Vanitas, Volumes 1 through 6. I think that's caught up. You'll definitely notice a vampire theme. <laughs> Classmates, Volumes 1 to 3. That is caught up with what has been licensed. There are more spin-offs they could license if they want to. But we'll see. Uh, Devil's Line, Volumes 8 through 14. I do have Volumes 1 to 7, but they are in America, so this is complete. Given volumes 1 to 3, caught up with the English release. Go For It Nakamura is done in one volume. Go With the Clouds, North by Northwest, is caught up. Kageki Shoujo, The Curtain Rises, is done in one volume, but this is a prequel to the main series, which has also just been licensed and will start releasing later this year. I'm very excited. Uh, Killing Me is a vampire yuri it says volume one but this is all that was ever made liquor and cigarettes is a bl one shot magician a this is a collection of alternative short stories uh i contributed to the kickstarter on this one mr mini mart is a bl one shot by junko very cute our Dining Table, another BL one-shot. Our Dreams at Dusk, Volumes 1 to 4, complete. One of my favorite series of all time. And I really recommend it to everyone. <laughs> Our Teachers Are Dating, Volume 1. This is a Yuri series about teachers, very fluffy. Satoko and Nara, Volumes 2 through 4. Uh, I have Volume 1, but it's in America. This is complete. Scarlet, Volume 1. Definitely a guilty pleasure. It's done in two volumes, but I haven't picked up volume two yet. Spy Family, very cute series. Been having a heck of a time finding volume one <laughs> in print, but uh, I'm sure I'll get it sooner or later. 
Total Eclipse of the Eternal Heart is done in one volume that is Horror by the Go For It Nakamura creator. Yona of the Dawn, volumes 11 to 27. I do have 1 through 10, but they are in America. This is caught up with the English release. And then the latest Japanese volume, which is volume 34. Again, just bought it because I wanted the calendar. <laughs> then this tiny little volume is called Hot Shep Suit. It is a collection of short stories. The main one is about the historical figure Hot Shep Suit, uh, who is one of my favorite historical figures. This is by Ryoko Yamagishi, uh, one of the Year 24 group. And I keep that little volume in with my other series about Hot Shep Suit, which is Aoi Horus no Hitomi. I have volumes 1 to 8. That's caught up. Volume 9 will be the final one. Then we have Ao no Huraku, or Blue Flag, volumes 1 to 8, complete. Itoshi no Nekoke, probably my favorite BL series. Uh, we have the prequel volume, Otaru Hen, and then the main series is five volumes. This is a little extra book that came with the last volume, and this is a book of tribute comics by other creators. We have Eien no Yoru no Hate. This is a vampire BL one-shot. Osorubeki Kodomotachi uh, is an adaptation of the novel by Jean Cocteau by Morohagyo. Kaze no Naka no Kureyo uh, is a one-shot volume by Ichijo Yukari, who was uh, very well-known in the 70s, very popular. Uh, Kaze to Kino Uta, volumes 1 to 5. And 6 to 17. This is complete. One of my favorites. Gokinjo Monogatari, or Neighborhood Stories, by Ai Yazawa, the creator of Nana and Paradise Kiss. Uh, this is actually... Uh, Paradise Kiss is sort of a sequel spin-off to Gokinjo Monogatari. The main character of this is Mikako, who is the older sister of Miwako, one of the characters in Paradise Kiss. Koretto wa shinu koto ni shita, volumes 1 to 12, and 13 to 17. Uh, one of my favorite, currently ongoing shoujo series, it's just very sweet. Juichi Gatsu no Gimu na Jiumu is a very early work by Motohagyo. It's kind of a prototype for The Heart of Thomas. Uh, this is Shonen no Oto by um, Yuki Kamatani. Probably my favorite Kamatani series, I think. Mostly for the subject matter, which is choir club. I love singing, so <laughs> that's complete. Star Red, uh, volumes 1 to 3 complete by Moto Hagio. Uh, this is science fiction. Let's see if I can say this. Seigakuin Kouka Daigaku Yakambu by Akiko Morishima, the Yuri Mangaka. Uh, this is just a one volume little. Thing. Some great LGBT representation in there. Um, and then probably the series I finished most recently, volumes 1 to 10 complete of Takane no Ransan, which is being released digitally in English under the title uh, Ran the Peerless Beauty. Over to the left here we have volumes 1 to 3 of Toma no Shinzo or The Heart of Thomas. Uh, complete. And then we also have At the Lakeside and The Visitor, which is two short stories that take place after the events of the Heart of Thomas. Uh, Nabari no O, volume 1 through 14, complete by Yuki Kamatani. This one actually has been released in English as well. It's out of print though. Uh, Ningyo Oji, this is a collection of short stories by uh, Kaori Ozaki, uh, who did The God's Lie and The Golden Sheep. And then we have Nettaigyo wa Yuki ni Kogareru, volumes 1 to 8, caught up. Volume 9 will be the last one. This is being released in English as A Tropical Fish Yearns for Snow. It is one of my favorite Eerie series and very close to my heart because it actually takes place in the prefecture I live in. 
Hi, Kara san ga toru. Let's see if I can pull this out. <laughs> uh, this is a classic 70s series. It takes place in the Taisho era. It's a romantic comedy that gets very dramatic later on. And I am currently in the process of collecting more of this because I do want this particular edition. I like it. Then we have Banana Bread Pudding, which is a one-shot volume by Yumiko Oshima, who is a member of the Year 24 group. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna bother <laughs> trying to say that title. I always get tripped up. But I believe it's an adaptation of a novel. I have not read this yet. It just came with some other Moto Hagio titles I was buying used. Um, yeah. Uh, two volumes here. Po no Ichizoku. The Poe Clan by Moto Hagio. Uh, this is the original series, all five volumes of it. Uh, then we have The Poe Clan, the new series of the three volumes that have been released so far. This is the most recent one. Um, very exciting to have more Poe Clan to read. We have Marginal, volumes one to five complete. This is a sci fi series by Moto Hagio. The first three volumes of the Ryoko Yamagishi special selection. Uh, it's a lot of her short stories, just sort of collected. And then this one, oh, what was this one called? I can't even read. It is about rhythmic gymnastics, and it just looked really pretty. It's from Heart of Magazine. I haven't read that yet, but it is complete in two volumes. And then we have Yurikuma Arashi, Volumes 1 to 3 Complete, uh, adapted by Akiko Morishima. And this is Red Barrel Nisayonara. Uh, this is a vampire BL. One of my favorite BL series, very beautiful, complete in three volumes. Now on to my other bookshelf. Okay, so here we have uh, Victor and Yuri from <laughs> Yuri on Ice. Over here is um, something I found at an antique book sh bookstore. It is a Class S novel uh, with illustrations by Junichi Nakahara. Uh, I'm really interested in like girls novels from that era, so it's just kind of a cool thing to have and it is a beautiful like little coffee table book. Uh, Yureito, volumes 1 to 9, complete. Uh, I think it's quite well known for its transgender protagonist, but it's also <laughs> uh, problematic. <laughs> but I love it anyway, so, you know, I'll do a video on it someday. These are just a couple of random first volumes I was trying out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. This is something I kickstarted. Uh, this is the signed edition of all four volumes of Kanojo ni Naritai Kimi to Boku, which is a really sweet LGBT series. Really love it. I love the little extra booklet that this comes with. It's just gorgeous. Ah, so cute. <laughs> Ten Dance, volumes one to five. That's caught up. Uh, here we have a cheap little prize figure of Misato. Sorry, Misato, I just hit your head. <laughs> Here we have Blank Canvas, My So-Called Artist's Journey, Volumes 1 to 5 complete. Cherry Magic, 30 Years of Virginity Can Make You a Wizard. The drama was so cute. <laughs> and the manga is so cute, too. This is caught up at two volumes. Claudine, by the Year 24 member Ryoko Ikeda, complete in one volume. Cocoon Entwined, a really good, interesting Yuri series caught up at two volumes. The Conditions of Paradise, volume one. Uh, volume two is out, but I don't have it yet. Hell's Paradise, Jigoku Raku, volumes one to five, that's caught up. Heterogenia Linguistical, volume one, that's caught up. Land of the Lustrous, volumes two to ten. I do have volume one, but it's in America. That's caught up. Life Lessons with Uramichi Onisang, uh, caught up with one volume. Magus at the Library, caught up with three. My Solo Exchange Diary, volume two. I do have the first two volumes of this in America. And looking forward to <laughs> the new one this year. 
I don't know if that's the right word. <laughs> uh, Perfect World, Volumes 1 to 3, Caught Up. School Face Bookseller Honda San, Volumes 1 to 4, Complete. Witch Hat Atelier, Volumes 1 to 6, I think, Caught Up. Seven might be out. Uh, this Channel Has Nobody But Us is a Yuri manga that I have not read yet. It's new to my collection. Onna no Ko Awase is another short story collection by Akiko Morishima. And this one is smutty. Gogo no Akubi, volumes 1 to 2 complete. And Suiton Kiko, done in one volume, both by Komatsu Shinya, who is an illustrator I like. Uh, Jitsuroku Hoikushi Deko Sensei, volumes 1 to 3, caught up. Very cute. <laughs> Nanohana, collection of short stories in response to the Fukushima disaster by Motohagyo. Buffalo Five Girls, done in one volume by Moyoko Ano. Boga Ippon, a collection of short stories by uh, Takano Fumiko, who is a member of the post-year 24 group. Metamorphose no Engawa is being released as BL Metamorphosis in English. Uh, complete at five volumes. Renai Joshika, volumes one to two, complete by Akiko Morishima. Aru Sensei no Oyatsu is kind of a weird one. <laughs> it's a recipe book that also has like little manga interludes about these two characters, and all the illustrations are done by Haruko Kumata. The Drifting Classroom. Volumes 1 to 3, it's out of order for some reason, <laughs> but one of my favorite horror manga, that's complete. Uh, here we have my two Lady Oscars guarding my Rose of Versailles books. We have Red Colored Elegy by Seiichi Hayashi, Super Dimensional Love Gun by Shintaro Kago, not for the faint of heart. The Rose of Versailles, Volumes 1 to 3. Ugh, I still cannot get over the fact that we are getting this in English, finally. Devil Man, 1 to 2 complete. Ping Pong, 1 to 2 complete. Cats of the Louvre by Tayo, Yama Tayo Matsumoto. The Heart of Thomas, my favorite Motohagia comic. You already saw the Japanese volumes. The Poe Clan, volume 1. Hopefully we get volume 2 this year. We'll see. <laughs> Otherworld Barbara, Volume 2. Uh, I have Volume 1 in America, so this is complete. Dementia 21, I believe, is complete in two volumes. Uh, this is also by Shintaro Kago. And if you want to get into Shintaro Kago, I recommend this. And definitely not that. <laughs> uh, Juichi ni iru. They were 11 by Motohagyo. Beautiful collector's edition we got, I think, a couple years ago now. Uh, includes the sequel comic. And then these are mostly art books. Uh, we have Makoto Takahashi's Princesses, Haruko Kumota's Boy's Life. This is only boys' love illustrations. Uh, that's a vintage picture book. Coloring book for the Poe Clan. Uh, Hagia Moto's SF Artworks, this is all her sci-fi illustrations. Uh, this is just a random 1979 issue of Junae Magazine, uh, that I got at Nakano Broadway. I picked this one because it wasn't too expensive and had a nice Takemiya illustration on the front. This is the Rose of Versailles art book. There, you can kind of see it. Moto Hagio. Uh, this is like a art exhibition book. Are there any other? Yeah. Okay. This is a special full color, I guess. Partial color? It's hard to explain. Comic by Usamaru Furia, who I'm also a fan of. Um, this is Haikara-san ga toru no sekai. Uh... A lot of, like, just information in that one. And the Yuri on Ice fan book. 
And finally, we just have a little stack of books that are manga related, but I don't keep them on my manga shelves. First, we have this issue of Harta Magazine, which includes a ton of short stories by a lot of different creators. Very cool to have. This I got for like 10 cents from a flea market, but it's very handy uh, as someone who finds it very difficult to remember expressions and idioms. This explains a bunch of Japanese idioms using Pokemon. It's so cute. Uh, we have the... Uh, I, I follow Seraph of the End digitally, uh, but I got these ones, which are the spin-off light novels that are called The Story of the Vampire Mikaela and follow not Mikaela, but Crowley, uh, which is kind of weird and misleading, but I really enjoyed these two volumes uh, for what they were. I mean, it's Seraph of the End, it's not a masterpiece, but <laughs> that's okay, it doesn't have to be. Uh, I have the first spin-off light novel for Natsume's Book of Friends. My Natsume books are in America, but I do have this one. Shonen no na wa Jiruberu by Takemiya Keiko. This is specifically autobiographical account of her, the, the period when she was writing Kaze to Kino Uta. Uh, she's written a lot of like autobiographies and other books about like the craft of making manga. Uh, this one I got from the Kyoto Manga Museum. Uh, two more books that are about Moto Hagio. Uh, you may notice a theme. <laughs> uh, these are both really good resources. This is notes from, like, a series of lectures, and then this is, like, Watashi no Manga Jinsei. So it's, like, a really long interview that's also interspersed with, like, comics and illustrations and rough drafts and, like, essays by other people. Really, really good book. I recommend this one. And then this... Uh, is a Taiyo Matsumoto art book, and that completes my manga collection. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in seeing me go more in-depth about these titles, please look forward to the videos that will be coming out after this. Thank you for watching. Uh, talk to you later. Bye, guys.